My name's Paul Lynch. I've been in recovery for 18 months. My own journey in recovery started when um, I found a girl dead who had been partying with. I got bailed on suspicion of murder for like six months and that was the beginning of the end for me. I got nine months in and I had a, and I had a relapse and then I'm, I'm back about another eight months now, sober. One of the biggest um, factors in people relapsing, in my opinion, is too much time on their hands, too much time with their own thoughts, you know, sitting alone, isolated, thinking of all the bad times and just festering, you know, and then nothing to do, end up going to the pub or phoning someone, you know. These men are members of Art and Soul, a vibrant recovery community in Liverpool. It is here where recovering addicts are encouraged to find creative outlets as a means of relapse prevention, whether it is through art, music, creative writing, poetry or many other activities. After finding Art and Soul allowed him to demonstrate his musical abilities, Paul Evans has been in recovery for over six months, after an incident several years ago led him to addiction. Oh, it's been great with the music side of it, eh? because I, 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 I packed everything in for five years with suffering from the PTSD. And I'm just about getting back to playing music again. What a love. And, eh, and I'm thinking of opening a class here, voluntary, like, to show other people. Eh, Blues harmonica, and uh, I say, and we're doing that. It's like helping myself. It's a, it's a good feeling, you know, when you 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 teach your own knowledge to other people. Like Paul also uses his time spent at Art and Soul to indulge in a slightly more messier variety of expression. This the art room where I paint. You've got to cover all the floor, you see, because of the carpets. But uh, this is my little saviour where I come. Because uh, I used to be a plasterer. And I lost my trade through an incident he had because my stomach, I got all kinds of my stomach. So I can't do the plastering no more. So I picked up art. I didn't, never painted in my life. But it's just good to use my hands. I need to be using my hands all the time. I'm working on this at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's just so peaceful to so come here get out the house and start using your talents again. You know, creative talents has helped me in recovery. Because I was doing, as I say, I was drinking a lot and it was just, I just gave up with the post-traumatic stress. It was just so hard because I had nothing to do because I lost my job with the plastering. So I feel like I'm plastering with this now. I come down the size. So it seems to help me that I'm doing something with my hands again. Art and Soul caters for a wide variety of interests for people of all ages, backgrounds and differing tastes. Uh, well, you have a day trip, on a, usually on a Sunday, and it's a good walk if you like walking. It's different places in the country. Photography, filmmaking, there's just a, there's a list. My words fly up, my thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never to heaven go. I've learned so much things. I've learned lots of in photography because I really like photography. Before I came to Art and Soul, I, I didn't have any confidence, but now like, I've got seen to have a lot more confidence in myself, and I'm, I'm learning the guitar, which is good. I just come down here for the for the um, for the friendships and the gob shop, you know, to have a good gob shop with the fellas, to pass time, as they say, you know. But you've encouraged, everyone's encouraged to come out and, you know, speak their mind, give their own opinion. It's a very extremely, extremely creative place to come. This is like my family now, you know, whether they like it or not, you know. I hope it's mutual. Against the time we struggle, the skin we're in, the skin we're in. Against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the deep. The hearts above the line, above the line.